Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Lanzarac Le General Greenpoint Stakes, wait for age grade two, I think you'll agree, was extremely impressive. Let's give legislator a round of applause. We're going to go through the presentation. I would like to introduce Adinda Boyson from the Winery Marketing Manager Perspective. Adinda, lovely to have you here. She has the trophies, she has the wine, and I'm going to start by getting her to present in these very famous silks our winning jockey, Richard Faree. Congratulations, Richard. Please take from Adinda Boyson, the Winery Marketing Manager, your fantastic trophy for the Greenpoint Stakes. Adinda, stay with us because you're going to hand out more trophies, but Richard, if I can get you in the office, let's have a quick chat and uh, go through this because i got to be honest, i got some goose flesh here and I was just saying to John Freeman and others, this horse has improved. If anything, if that is anything to go by, that was remarkable. I mean, sensational victory. Yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you just saw what he's capable yeah. of doing. Um, he is by far the best horse I've ever ridden um, and just also so just um, blessed and pleased to be acquainted with a horse like us. Um, you know, he's just there when you need him. Um, yeah, oh, it's just a special horse. You know, I'm going to talk to uh, either Chris or Jono in a moment about this, but he had every right to need the run here, and yet uh, he's absolutely smashed them. Well, you know, there's an old saying, a good horse doesn't need a run, eh? And he just shows how good he really is. And yeah, like I said, just pleased and well done to the horse night team, um, to everyone involved. Um, yeah, just proud to be part of this. Uh, obviously, needless to say, there's a lot more in the tank, so exciting season awaits you and this horse. Yes, very much. Um, our targets on the Queen's Plate and the JB Met, so we're on target, so let's do this. Very much so. Right, wonderful stuff. Please give Richard Ferry a round of applause. Chris and Jono, who's going to have a word? Jono? I mean, I, I'm almost speechless, and you said to me on, on the way past, you said, well, we thought he might win, but we didn't think we'd, he'd win like that. Impressive. Yeah, no, his gallop here last week was sensational. You know, he came, I've actually said to Richard, I've never seen a horse go past the finish line so fast. Yeah. And, um, you know, we played it down a bit because he hasn't run since the Durban July and he had this in niggling injury, which is 100% now. Um, but we were very confident coming into the race and I just couldn't see anything beating him on his gallop and he performed it well. And I must just say, well done to the owners, Jack, Holger, Nancy Mitchell and Gannel Rupert, who, you know, this horse was sold. If it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be with us. So they came to the party. I'm just so glad that it worked out for them. At the time they bought him, he wasn't going, he, you know, you just won five in a row now. After. And I've got to tell you, hey, not only for the owners, but for South Africans and for South African racing, thanks very much for keeping this horse here because that's why we come racing, to see quality like this. And uh, the fact that he's been kept in South Africa is a huge bonus for us as race, racing fans. Yeah, I know. And um, the other partner, Dennis Evans, you know, he's got ambitions to take him overseas eventually. And possibly that's something we'll look at after the Durban, I mean, the JMB Met and the Queen's Plate. But now our main mission this whole season was the Queen's Plate and the JMB Met and full seam ahead. And that's going to take a, re a really good horse to beat him in wait for age terms. And uh, also to the breeder, Vaughan Costa, well done to him. And uh, he's definitely better a superstar here. Wonderful stuff. Jono, thank you very much. There from Adinda Boyson is your trophy, magnificent trophy, of course. And uh, Justin, very quickly, your dad was telling me he's um, overseas in India holding the South African flag. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, no, they just uh, played their first international now and they actually won 7-4 and Justin scored two goals. So, yeah. you know, if it wasn't for South Africa, he wouldn't have gone. Obviously, work comes first. Yes. But uh, when he got the call up and, you, you know, you can't turn something down. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And two weeks at this time of the season, you know, just, my dad and I just said, you have to go, you know, and we all hold the fort. And, He'll be happy there, but right now he's on the field, so he doesn't even know legislates one. He'll know soon enough. Well done to Jono, well done to Chris, and well done to Justin. Good man. Great, and lastly, thank you to Landsrec, the sponsors for the day. They did an amazing job, and I think this is a race day to follow in the future. It is indeed. Thank you very much. Now, let's get the owners in here. Dennis Evans isn't here, but Gaynor is and Jack is. If we can bring you guys in, give them a round of applause because this horse is in South Africa because of these team. You're going to have to fight off Dennis, you know, guys, because Dennis is going to want to campaign him overseas. And I would imagine, you know, we are going to want to see him overseas, taking on some of the best horses in the world, because Gaynor, that was sensational. That was indeed. Um, I'll let Jack answer that about his career f furthermore. Oh, come on, Gaynor, you speak much better <laughs> than I do. Uh, the guy's fantastic and a thrill, um, Jack, to, to see this horse. If anything, I mean, it's hard to say, obviously, because some of these other horses probably needed the run, but then so did Legislate, and it would appear, if anything... He's improved as a four-year-old. I, I think he has, and I think the trainer thinks that he has. But I must stop just to say um, best of luck to um, um, the Evanses overseas, and I'm sorry they're not with us, and uh, so glad we could buy into this horse from them. And also congratulations to the jockey, R Richard, who rode a fantastic race, 
And I think uh, we all know about the SNES and, and now they train horses, and of course also Vaughan. And, and I think we must, we must say fantastic for Lanzarac to sponsor this race. Yes, indeed. It's a wonderful atmosphere here. And, of course, uh, Gaynor knows a lot about atmospheres here at Kenilworth, and they're doing a fantastic job. But uh, well done to you guys. And you heard from your trainer, full steam ahead, Queen's Plate, J&B Met, Gaynor. Yes, indeed. I also just want to say thank you to Jack for allowing him to run in my colours. I appreciate that a lot. And reiterate um, what Jack said about the snakes being wonderful trainers, John Freeman for buying this mm. wonderful horse, Vaughan breeding, um, Richard a fantastic ride, everything has to go right. And then to have a superstar like this is a real treat. But Congratulations. Um, also thank you to Lanzarek, it's nice to win on a day like this. It is indeed, and uh, you're right, great team, all plans come together. Give them a round of applause please, Gaynor Rupert for Rockenstein Stud and of course Jack Mitchell. And we're not forgetting of course Dennis Evans and his team, of course, from Newbury Racing. They get their prizes from Adinda Boyson. I want to also, if we can, I don't know if he's still here, the um, groom, if I can get Jabulani here. Um, Jabulani is here. Jabulani, you look so smart. Very impressive. And Adinda's got something for you. Adinda Boyson is going to give Jabulani, who's done a tremendous job of looking after this horse is a bit, this must be the best horse. If Richard Faree says this is the best horse he's ever ridden, I've got to guess this has got to be the best horse you've ever taken care of. Yeah, Richard has told me, he says the best horse in the country. I'm very happy to see my horses win again. And uh, I think he, uh, I don't, I don't think you can, you can get a horse can beat this horse. I think this horse is very, very good. Yes, you keep going, keep looking after him because we're all taking doubles, Queen's Plate, J and B Mets, so look after us. Yes, I will look after him because well, it's up to you. Well done, Jabalani. Tremendous job from Jabalani. Once again, a final reminder to thank you to John Freeman for the purchase of this horse. Uh, Chevelli stud, of course, Vaughan Costa. This four-year-old son of Dynasty out of the Mayor Champers has won the Greenpoint Stakes. Well, he's absolutely demolished the opposition, frankly. It was grade two, but it was a one-horse race from a long way out, and Legislate is unlikely to stop here during the Cape summer season.